About 20 workers in Amador County joined a two-day picket line on a strike against AT&T. Telephone beginning Tuesday, August 7th. Members of the Communication Workers of America, Local 9417, were part of the strike by CWA District 9, whose Vice President Jim Whitcamp said, contract negotiations are never easy, but when AT&T violates the law repeatedly and processes uh, work can't work, Given the AT&T's record profits, tax breaks, and jaw-dropping executive compensation, there is no reason for them to insist on lowering the standard of living of a single worker. The union posting at CWAUnion.org said, In months of contract negotiations, AT&T has demanded major concessions from workers on health care, job security, scheduling sick leave, disability, and pensions. Members have been working under an expired contract since April 8th. The union alleges AT&T violated provisions of the National Labor Relations Act by denying workers right to engage in protected concerted activity and by implementing unilateral changes without bargaining. Workers are especially angry about AT&T's abrupt, unannounced changes in working conditions for the U-verse video technicians and for management threats to discipline for wearing union stickers and buttons. Union members were quick to protest, staging a series of concerted actions escalating to today's general labor practice strike. And AT&T in release said, these employees are very well compensated and they will continue to be. AT&T is not proposing to reduce the wages of any employee in these contracts or to take away benefits. The corporation said its goal through these negotiations has been to preserve high quality middle class careers with wages and benefits, care benefits that are among the best in the country. And AT&T places a priority on consumer service. AT&T has been planning for more than two years to handle a work stoppage like this. It has a substantial contingency workforce of well-trained managers and vendors in place. The union posting said AT&T is the largest and most profitable company in the communications industry. It's 12th biggest company in America. In 2010, AT&T recorded profits of 19 $1.86 billion on revenues of $1.24 billion and made $20 billion in profits last year. CWA said 4,500 4, workers in the East were also striking Tuesday and also working under an expired contract. It said the union has filed dozens of unfair labor practice charges with the National Labor Relations Board over AT&T's conduct that violates federal labor laws, and the board has issued a complaint against AT&T in response to two of the charges and is reviewing several others. The posting said, frustration over AT&T's repeated violations of workers' rights has prompted today's unfair labor practice strike. Stay with us. We'll be right back with our interview after this break. You're watching Amador County's number one news and sports leader, TSPN.